Hi there, Karnika here. Today we're embarking on an exciting journey together into the world of Kaggle competitions. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, Kaggle competition, that sounds intense. And you're right, they can be. But they are also one of the most rewarding ways to grow your skills in data science and machine learning. So what exactly is Kaggle competition? In simple terms, it's a data science challenge where participants like you and me apply our skills to solve real world problems. You're given a data set and sometimes not. And a problem statement, your goal is to build the best possible model to tackle that problem. It's not just about getting highest score. It's about learning, experimenting and pushing your boundaries. Our boundaries? Let's take a look at a typical competition page. First, there is overview tab, where you'll find the problem description, evaluation metrics, and some more information regarding the competition. This is our starting point, and we need to read it carefully because this is where we understand what's expected. Next, we have data tab, where we'll find data set provided for the competition. It's crucial to familiarize ourselves with this data. It's the foundation of our solution, after all. And then there is code tab. It's the place where you can see code others have shared. And you can also share your own work. We also have models tab, which showcase the different models that have been used or shared within the competition. It's a great resource if you're looking to see what kind of models others are working with. Next is the discussion tab, is where the community comes together. You can ask questions or share insights and get feedbacks. It's one of the best way to connect with others and improve your approach. And then there is the leaderboard. Now, this is where things get interesting. Leaderboard shows the participants who are currently leading the competition. But it's important to understand that these leaders have fine-tuned their model to excel based on the specific evaluation metrics that was mentioned on the overview page. The closer the model aligns with those metrics, the higher you'll rank. So while it might seem intimidating at first, it's all about honing your approach to meet these criteria. Lastly, don't forget to check out the rules tab to ensure that you're following all the guidelines and the submission tab where you'll be able to see your own submissions. Participating is straightforward. First, choose a competition that interests you. It could be getting started competition which is perfect for beginners or something more advanced if you're feeling confident. Once you've chosen, load the data and start exploring. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. It's all part of the process. And remember, everyone starts somewhere. Even if you're a bit intimidated, trust me, I've been told so by the experts. And the key is to jump in and start experimenting. And you'll be amazed by how much you can learn. I'm looking forward to be amazed by how much I can learn. Now, even though I'm a Kindle notebook and discussion grandmaster. Competition is a new frontier for me. My goal is to dabble in Kindle competitions and learn more. And I'm excited to take you along in this journey. I'm sharing this experience with you because I want to encourage more people to participate. The more the merrier. There's something truly special about Kaggle competition. It's not just about winning, it's about learning together. So if you've been on fence about joining a competition like me, I hope this series will inspire you to take the plunge. Let's explore this world together, one competition at a time. In the next video, we'll dive into some specific competition, the Playground Monthly. And I'll take you through my approach, my process, and yes, my mistakes as well. After all, that's how we grow. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.